What is going on guys? It is Bucky and welcome to your 80th Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to add data to your files. So in the last tutorial we pretty much learned how to create an empty file. Not that useful. So let's go ahead and put something in it in this uh, tutorial. And hold on one second. I got an itch in my ear. Oh, that felt good. I got it. Alright, so let's go ahead and import a couple things. We need to import Java dot io and let's go ahead and import everything from there and as you can see I made a separate class outside my main class and I just named it create file because that's what we're going to be doing creating files that's why I named it that so next let's go ahead and put java dot lang we need some crap from in there and lastly let's go ahead and import java dot util I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be building in this tutorial, but this should cover everything. So, without further ado, let me think, what do I want to do first? Well, the first thing we need to do is do a private formatter variable, and I'm going to name an X as usual. And what this is going to do is hold a formatter object. And let's go ahead and make a method to pretty much create and open a file. So let's go ahead and put public void and we'll just name it open file you can name it whatever you want it doesn't take any parameters because it's just going to open a file now in this method what we want to do we got to have our try and catch block like always so let's go ahead and try and set x equal to new for matter object and go ahead and write a file name um make sure you write one that you don't already have a file or else you're gonna overwrite it so I don't have a file called like Chinese.txt um, you probably don't either so you can use that <coughs> so go ahead and try and set this file equal to X um, if you can't let's just go ahead and catch an exception so catch exception E and this pretty much means if you get an error what do you want to do let's do system out print line um just put you have an error error no error there we go all right so now whenever we call this method open file it's pretty much just gonna set x equal to this file it's pretty much just gonna give us a file so we can use so now we have a file that we can use so what do we want to do to that well we want to add a record to it so let's go ahead and put public void add records and let's go ahead and this isn't going to take any parameters either and adding records is the easiest thing in the world all you need to do is put the file you want to add it to which is x because remember we said equal to chinese.txt and what you do is the method is format and this pretty much is like printf for files and now again how familiar is this the format and the arguments so for the format, let's um, let's insert three strings. Um, the first one, say we're making like a user account. The first one will be the ID number, so we'll put like 20. It's my favorite number. And the second one will be my first name, which is Bucky. And the third piece of data will be Roberts, which is my last name. So that looks good right there. So now what this is going to do is insert three elements in the same line. It's going to say 20 Bucky Roberts. It's going to insert that in our file whenever we call this method add records. And the last thing that we want to do is write a method to close the file. So go ahead and write public void close file or name it whatever you want. But that's pretty easy to remember. And why do we need to put... Well, I would show you guys what the thing is x close and close is built in method so that's why we can use this and that's why we needed to include all these so we can use this close method but now let me tell you guys why we need to close this file it's pretty much like a housekeeping thing whenever we exit our program windows usually and i say usually closes our file from writing so nothing else can write in it but sometimes remember every operating system is different sometimes depending on your program it can leave the file open it can lead to some errors so you always want to 
close your files it's good programming you always want to do it I mean you can probably get away with not doing it but if you ever get a job as a job programmer they are going to be PO to you if you forget to close your files it's probably going to cause some uh, errors later down the road so we're pretty much recap I'm talking about something different now we pretty much got three methods in here we need to open the file we need to add some records into it and then we need to close the file because we're done with it we don't want anyone else messing with it so go ahead and in your main or whatever your uh, main method is just go ahead and well we don't need to include anything but what we do need is to create an object and I name my class create file so create file I'm just gonna name it like G or something um, new create file doesn't take any parameters we didn't make a constructor and remember we have three um, methods we built open file right there G what do we name it add records right there and so now we open the file we added the records and now what we need to do is close that file because we're done with it and now once we go ahead and run this program nothing happens but what it did is created a file on our computer so if we highlight source or actually Bucky and put file um, refresh it's pretty much going to refresh our computer so now you see we get this chinese.txt file that we just created and the cool thing about Eclipse is, is it actually um, a text editor as well so double click this file and it'll show you what's in your file and that is 20 Bucky Roberts this one is just the um, line number don't mind that that is actually in the file so in this text file we have 20 Bucky Roberts so now let's recap one last time what we did in create file Java is pretty much the meat of our program we created a method to create a file and that was open file right here and we needed a try catch because of Java and we said alright we're gonna look for chinese.txt that file we want to write on if we don't have it already then create a new one so we can write in it and that's what X new formatter does so now we have a chinese.txt file so we can write text in it so what did we want to write in it well we just wanted to add a record we gave myself like an ID number Bucky Roberts and if we had to make like a system of like uh, I had to make like a library for school or they have like credit card numbers or anything where you need an ID number you'd add a record after record after record and you call this method a bunch of times and I just move that and then that's how you get like a database on your computer and then after that you just close your file so you can't mess with it anymore and that's pretty much it so uh, thank you guys for watching um, I hope you learned a little something and hopefully I got this so you guys can see it but oh well I'm done with Zorro anyways so anyways thank you guys as I just said don't forget to check out my giveaways and uh, don't forget to subscribe so I'll see you next time